Thank you very much, Mr Acting Speaker. I rise to speak on a very special event that took place in Midlinton over the weekend on August 3 and 4 to mark 100 years since aviation pioneer Captain Harry Butler became the first person to fly over the Gulf of St Vincent or any other major body of water in the Southern Hemisphere when he delivered the first air mail run on August 6, 1919. A crowd of thousands attended the ceremony, uh, the centenary celebrations, which suitably included some 40 planes, sky jumpers, model aircraft and static displays, vintage vehicles, a flyover, aerobatics, a reenactment of the mail delivery itself, history book launches, of which I managed to pick up a copy of each, and plaque unveilings. It was a great honour for me, Mr Acting Speaker, to unveil the interpretive signage at the site of Harry's infamous plane crash uh, in 1922, along with others, including the Governor of South Australia, His Excellency uh, the Honourable Hugh Van Lay AC, and I commend all involved in staging such a great weekend. As stated in my speech at the time, made beside his town statue, Harry was a household name, hailed a rock star of his time, a magnificent man in his flying machine, and a charismatic young daredevil with the brain of an engineer. Indeed, so significant have been Harry's exploits and achievements, I have made a public call in recent weeks for Adelaide Airport to be renamed in his honour, a call that is gaining considerable community traction, I must say, Mr Acting Speaker. And I have to inform this House that I formally submitted the proposal to the Adelaide Airport's currently underway consultation on its new 20-year master plan, which includes the completion of a $165 million uh, terminal expansion project in 2021 and a new airport east precinct. Public consultation on this strategic plan is open until October 28, and I will continue to encourage anyone who will listen to also lodge a submission in favour of such a proposal. Such is the case for Captain Harry Butler to be suitably honoured. The Harry Butler story is an inspiring one, Mr Acting Speaker, about a young boy born on a remote farm near the bottom of York Peninsula in 1889, who taught himself to fly, to build planes, who led daring raids in World War I, and as head instructor in the Royal Flying Corps, trained thousands of pilots on ways to outmanoeuvre the enemy in the sky, outmanoeuvre enemies in the sky uh, to stay alive, and brave exploits earned him the Air Force Cross in 1918. His best known for his historic St Vincent Gulf flight, his war service, for his stunt flying and raising money for uh, repatriation causes. But I, all, but I advocate that it's his lesser known firsts for South Australia that really warrant further recognition, particularly achievements that relate to commercial aviation. The formal list of achievements historically attributed to uh, Captain Harry Butler are as follows. The first crossing of a significant body of water in the Southern Hemisphere, the Gulf St Vincent, which we uh, commemorated in Middleton on August 3 and 4. The first aerodrome at Northfield, which he had in 1919. Then the first real airport at Hendon, which he sold to the Commonwealth Government to make it the first official Adelaide airport from 1922 until 1927, when it moved to Parafield and then its current location at West Beach. Captain Harry Butler also had the first air passenger carrying business in Australia, which is a rather significant development for the business of running an airport, Mr Acting Speaker. The first aerial photo uh, photographs, including in a commercial capacity for real estate purposes. He was among the first to recognise that the aeroplane could be used for mail purposes. The first aviation business, Butler and Corporate Aviation Company, including a shareholder and huge supporter in MP HC Richards. And he helped set up the first aero club in SA to facilitate the new aviation business, business and look at things like safety, infrastructure, etc. And he can be credited as being the first to consider air flights to take doctors and nurses to injured people in remote pastoral areas as a precursor to the Royal Flying Doctor Service set up four years after his death, which has been a tremendous development for those people living in outback South Australia and regional areas. So, Mr Acting Speaker, hail Harry Butler. And I also would like to take this opportunity to commend all involved in the centenary celebrations, the wonderful show that it was about a month ago. In particular, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank and congratulate the organising committee of Max Cook, June Ben Bow, Julie Searle, Rob Smith, David Crozer, Les Parsons, Ed Maher, Joe Butler, Alison Roberts, Dean Litster, Rob Searle and Bev Litster. Your substantial efforts and that of all the locals who have come before you have ensured that the exploits of this special man from Kulawerdi are kept alive forever. Member for Badco.